and we get straight into action with sidestep movements, zigzagging forwards and backwards, as if you were going towards or away from the table. Small steps. Marvellous. Every week we do a little bit of keepy uppy with the traditional L shape. The last week we moved into keepy downy, which I find a little bit easier if my knees are slightly bent. And I'm sure I said this last week, I find this a lot more difficult. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bad posture for table tennis is standing straight. A good posture is being crouched down low, ready to play the next shot. So we'll have ten in and outs. So this is in, this is out, and one. You're imagining that you're away from the table tennis table, you need to move towards the table to play your next shot. You wouldn't take giant elephant steps. So we're going to call this fast feet. I'm going to come towards the table with the little footsteps and then walk back. And the little footsteps and walk back. And that is fast feet. Watching the ball really closely, tiny target. Not watching it that closely. And introducing, this would help if I've got my other bat. There it is. I'm going to start with the ball on one bat. And when I feel comfortable, I'm going to be hitting the ball between bats. So we've moved from catching from hand to hand to hitting the ball from bat to bat. Not hitting the ball particularly hard at all. And just like we did with keepy uppies, we're going to do back to bat, but instead of in the air, on the but instead of in the air, on the floor. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that while travelling. And changing the other way. I'm going to call this my bat target. I'm going to put my bat just here. Hopefully it will stand up. And as it sounds, the target is for me to try and knock over the bat. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to play backhands first. Um, and here we go. Missed. I hit it, but you knock it over, and we'll try again. As I'm hitting the ball, so I throw the ball up, I'm looking at the ball, but just before I'm hitting it, I'm actually looking where I'm aiming. Rather than at the ball that I'm hitting. So looking where you're aiming. Marvellous. If you want to make that a little bit harder, Get a smaller target, and if we want to make that a bit easier, we'll go for a bigger target. A progression from this, instead of trying to hit the bat direct, I'd like to get the ball to bounce once before it hits it, and that's getting me to start thinking about serving. So I'm aiming to hit the bat, but get the ball to bounce once, a bit like this. 